Thank you very much for pressing play on today's very, very, very short video. I'm doing this video to encourage a lot of young athletes that are involved in certain types of sport. Okay, and the reason why I'm qualified to say this, okay, I've been there. Okay, I've seen it, I have done it, I have been amongst the people what this information will resonate with. Listen, mainly to those who are involved in sport, young athletes, young schoolboy athletes, never you be intimidated when you are playing a sport what is non-contact. How can you be intimidated when you play a sport where it's non-contact? You shouldn't be. It's not like boxing where it's weight categorised. Okay? If it's a sport what's non-contact, it means that you're not supposed to make no contact. I like football. Apart from the shoulder barge, okay, the occasional push when you need to. Okay? You shouldn't be intimidated by the size of another person who is on the opposite side of your team. You shouldn't be intimidated by that, okay? Because what you need to remember is that you are put in the practice just like the other team's players. Or if there's a star player, you may have put in the same amount of practice. And if you haven't, God damn, you should then you need to, okay? You are physically as fit as the player on the opposite side. Okay, there may be a few attributes what are different between you, i.e., you know, they might be a bit bigger than you, they might be faster than you, okay, or you might be faster than them but not as big as them, okay. Skill wise, you may not be as skillful as them, but don't you ever be intimidated by the size of another athlete, never you be intimidated by the attributes of another athlete. Never you be intimidated by the skill factor of another athlete because sometimes being intimidated by what they have can only put you into a shell which will make you be intimidated and may not allow you to express yourself in that game, okay, what you may be involved in, okay, you may lose concentration, you may be intimidated, you may be outskilled, you might be outmuscled. Just by the fact that somebody has got a little bit of something more than you. Okay, but the fact of the matter is, you can put in the work. Okay, the fact of the matter is, give back if somebody's giving it to you. Okay, because all that will happen is the referee will stop the game, give a free kick, give a foul, give you a card, or the other player a card if it's getting a bit too physical. Okay, so there's no need and no reason to be intimidated. Okay, this is a thing what I learned while playing in teams, okay, decent level, okay, when I was playing football when I was younger. Within a team, those people I was always intimidated by the opponent. Why? Different reasons, as I just stated earlier. And at the end of the day, there's no other reason why you should be intimidated. Okay, you have got as much right to boss the pitch regardless of your size. You've got attributes too, you just need to use them. Okay? So if you're a young athlete, I hope this short video has helped you, has put something in your mind. But put it in your mind, but also apply it by action. Okay? You can get to the top too. And even if you don't get to the top, okay, you can make your presence be known on the field. Alright? Thanks for pressing play. Remember, my name's Coach Martin Gooden. I'm available for coaching, okay, regardless of your sport, okay, and I'm available by contacting me at info at cptuk.co.uk. Also, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for up-and-coming videos. Have a tremendous day.